last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That long? Indeed. That's right. I can't imagine a, a point where I would ever show them ever again. Only someone I could call family. I don't see I call family. It would be worthy. Family? Listen. Are you gonna vol are you going to volunteer? Huh? Mm -hmm. Got you again. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. <sighs> I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but to be honest, hope you don't change. I prefer you like this way. <laughs> this is you. And now back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it turns out okay. Oh, even if you <laughs> were in a while and uh, ugh, you've been putting it off because you're freaking tired lately. But anyways, it's Vendilla 1988 and welcome back to Dr. Rupert Trigger, Trigger, Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, we bonded with Kirigiri and Tigami. But now it's morning. And we're gonna go see what's up. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Okay. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, happy, happy day. <laughs> Today we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. When I found out what was, what was there waiting for me. Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? Hmm. There are only three people in dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people. God, this is why I hate my hate people who take their sweet time and everything. However. Anyway, let's anyway let's wait a while longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited, um, so it's uh, it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting for a whole f here for a full hour. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Coffee again. Why haven't the others come? Here in Celeste, I've missed a day until now. All I worry about is Hifumi and Taka. They are more eager than anyone to wait, look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem. I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Ten million dollars! I 
prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowy wow wow, am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. So I wanted to say, I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. Hmm. We need to go look for. The, we need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go check them down. Another word we left the dining hall. Hey. Cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything that happens, call for help right away. But I really I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well then. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written on, across all our face, each of our faces, as we went our separate ways. I rushed to the, I was saying, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Hey, okay, look around the first floor. Check every room, I guess. That was Hina! Be checking the third floor! Time to think, I was right into the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew the stairs leading to the third floor. Right, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please! Mikado! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful! The rec room door was open! I looked inside, I saw, I saw... What'd you see? I, 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 I like the others, right? Oh yeah, you go ahead, Mikado! Before I can say anything, she was rushing downstairs. Record, what's she seeing there? This morning I was used to see. Like, without, thinking, so without thinking, I looked in the rec room. First thing I saw in the, like, in the rec room was. It was Celeste. She was hurt. Yeah, Makoto. Celeste, what happened? Oh. I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? Attacked by who? Oh. <coughs> I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? Oh. I'm suspicious person. A suspicious person. His existence is so unnatural. Unusual. I can I can't help but call him strange. Without doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. Something around the head. Justice Hammer 1? Or Justice 1 Hammer? Or more like Justice 1 Hammer? <coughs> That's the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. 
<coughs> I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you're attacked with this? Just this hammer one. <laughs> Mikado! Celeste! Okay. <laughs> I found Sakura! What? Celeste, what, ha what are we having here? <clears throat> Apparently she was attacked by some strange, kind of strange man. A strange man. <coughs> Does everything you remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. <coughs> <coughs> well, it all happened. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before seven a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. Anyway... Anyway, anyway that is where I first saw the strength man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him after him in secret. As I followed... I I saw him going to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. This is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked? <coughs> it happened after se just uh, after 7 a.m. Just after nighttime had been ended. So, so it happened just after 7 o'clock. No, just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. <coughs> the attack caused me to lose consciousness. Which means I, I was unconscious for about an hour. What? I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. Uh. That's because I begged and groveled for my life. Uh. You did? For me. I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I have to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is we go search for the this individual. Not hurry, it's gonna become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Okay. I looked in the, in the rec room. I saw that the specific man was not alone. He had with them... He a few me. He a few me? Okay. After he attacked me, he dragged a few me away. What? You mean he a few me was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking... Shouldn't we start... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste. Listen, Celeste. Anything in particular? Anything in particular sound about the strange guy? Uh. Did anything st stand out well? <laughs> Rather than trying to explain it, it would be probably faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Indeed. This is a few me's hand me down. A digital camera. You don't mean. Actually. Uh, it was. I got this was individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it! Okay. I would tell you not to be shocked. By fear, it would do you no good. That strange comment in our minds that we all looked at the camera. Huh? Huh? What? Well, you're definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a, ro is that a robot costume? 
As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. <coughs> so this weird robot guy dragged dra 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 a fumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. This is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's as much. Well, I believe that I understand what's happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but. Hmm. The point is someone dressed like that dragged a few away. It happened over an hour ago? Just a second. This is bad, we gotta hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. They left the dark room, they had left. I see. That's true, they were heading towards the stairs, leaning down the second floor. That's true, they were the second floor. He must be down there, right? Hmm. Second floor? That's where Kyoko's supposed to be! Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um. So, sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did hit the second floor, Kyoko might run to him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as those words lost my mouth, we all rushed down, out of the room down the second floor. Hey you, hey you two! What's going on? What's all what's all the fuss? What? Yeah you guys playing a yeah you guys play, guys you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You've gotta be kidding! Nope, nope, sure haven't. Only on this floor. We just got here here ourselves. There's a kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We can't get together! Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. <coughs> anyway, 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 can you guys help us look for him? What? Why? What happened? Uh. There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. Does it sound like something interesting that's going on? Okay. You feel me? Get up! You hear me? Say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Oh. Hmm. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library! Okay. Library! Okay, let's go! We're in the library of us our, our, our legs could carry us. And we go to the library. <laughs> yeah. It hurts. It hurts! We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> super bad though. Super... It's super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> Rebel Justice. Er, that's what I decided to call him for now. What, what did you say? <laughs> what? Are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that boy's like a serious cell sacking. What? What did you say? About. Justice. I'm glad to see he's still alive. 
I'm sure he's happy, but I feel he's still alive, but Rebel Justice? <laughs> this just... This just keeps getting stranger. That, that guy! <laughs> that guy with Rebel Justice! Indeed. What it's the not? hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Rebel Justice! It can't be. Rebel Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. You're Rebel Justice. It can't be. Uh, the hammer. Nope. What, what did you? Hammer. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with. Look, this one is Justice Hammer Two, <coughs> <coughs> or Justice Two Hammer. And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that ham. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right in the head of it. Well. <laughs> A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds. You know, would you like some? <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> it's him! It's him! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about justice, huh? I don't think they're just starting to get really starting to get interesting. What kind of special boosts does it have? Can it, come, can it fly? Can it combine? Is it a Megazord? Is it, can it be a Megazord? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Well, let's not concern ourselves with him. We need now to get to meet the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do. Need to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. We hit, we moved to Fumi to the nurse's office and set in the on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Mm. How you feeling, Fumi? Let me take a. How you feeling, Fumi? Let me take a good look at you. I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then, perhaps you should rest here for a while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then, the rest of the rest of us go back looking for that mis mystery and salient. Yes, indeed. Before another victim appears. <laughs> the justice hammer seemed to be increasing in size. First. First one, and now two. So, in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer number three, we can only assume that it's bigger than the first two. Oh. If you get hit by anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. You'd be glad I'm taking interest in you, peasant. I looked I up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. Went to the third floor and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. That's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That's, that must be why I witnessed it around 7 this morning. 
after that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. Huh. At around 7 30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which, which means Hina's, which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all, so we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes. <laughs> it's under, it's, it's back under there. It's back in the pits of darkness, as the dark, the blackest night. Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? I was picking! Anyway, so that means Byaki and Tuck were together at the, at the time. I mean, they also have alibis. So, the only ones that don't have alibis from Celeste and whom you were attacked are... The two that we haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. Oh, by the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um. <coughs> oh yeah, excuse me, I got the second floor. Won't see you up there at all. Oh. Where could where could she disappear to? Hmm. She disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on. Kyoko was with us when the dining hall when Celeste and Finger attacked, so hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words. I'm referring to what we talked about last night, who the Mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working for the Mastermind? That's not possible! What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! See, so this discuss. Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to get, focus on finding this vicious individual. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you don't hurry, it's gonna be, it's gonna be more victims. <laughs> that's why. That's my. That might be why Kyoko Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We need to do something about that mystery man first. Um. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. So who's that? Who's running that? Is running around the what? Why are they wearing that trans costume? <laughs> Didn't bother looking for a reason for a deviant. What to do? What to do? <laughs> so gonna, what are you gonna do? Split up and look around? Are you gonna do split up and look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of even here. Hmm? What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw... I saw a shadow. Something moving from the top of the stairs. Oh. Really? Oh. I'm on the second floor then. I'm on the second floor then. You bastard, you won't get away from me! We all saw towards the stairs. <laughs> you must be you must be ar around here somewhere. Let's pull up in the corner room. <laughs> but don't but don't take any chances. As soon as you find them, call out and I'll come running. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Well, what should we yell? Just a second. Anything. Doesn't matter. So then. Finis. Huh? Yeah, okay. Hey, yeah, or do yeah, whatever. Whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> hmm. Do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. Uh, okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, it's a robot. You don't get hiding. You don't get out. Don't want to take us in you. We spread out every any direction. To track down the, the costume suspect. Lockers. Well, I expect to see them than a normal pool. Coffee stands, the copper are gone, and the bikini po model poster is back. It's just like Ushiakim Okanuma. Ushiakim Okanuma must have done it. From the so the third floor, I just get past that for much reason. Everyone, over here, over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream had come running. So that's what's wrong. What? That <coughs> that was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Okay. I saw him. I, I saw him. A strange cutty man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs. So he headed further down in the hallway. He disappeared. Let's be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. What is it? What is it now? True. Mm. Doesn't matter right now. Let's. No! Huh? huh? What was that? What was that? Okay. That, that came from downstairs. It must have been the human nurse's office. Now we gotta go back. What, what about the suspect? We're about to suspect. You got all this trouble to capture him, right? Hmm. Why don't we split into two groups? Why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear now. Uh, I'll leave the hunting part. I'll leave the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then. Very well. Very well then. Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I lead the capture of this specific individual to T Toko, Sakura, and Byakuya. So we'll handle it. Just take care of Fufumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Celeste and Hina, I'll run down to the first floor. 
Just a second. It's in the nearest office. Let's go. Show me the nervous office what Rius us was. A word of drips in crimson. Everything was covered in red. That's the nerve all this red was, or pink, really. That's a very pink. That's some pentobismal blood. You feel me. Bad has happened. I certainly wasn't. I certainly was. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. Serious, not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the? What's the body discovery announcement? The body discovery announcement. Three more people discovered a body after a murder. That's what that's what plays. So we just heard it. That means. Mm. Must have been Kifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us. Look at that! Look at that! And Celeste said that she pointed to something. Something on the floor. <coughs> something that had run on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. Or Justice 3. Hammer. A trilogy. Seen better than the other two. Okay. Suspected. One strike from that, and you're finished. Then the killer. There can be no doubt. This was an individual. Going by what Fumi called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hanging that costume is the one who, that killed Fumi. But wait, it's on the third floor, right? Running back into the, the hall? So you, uh, 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 nurse's office. You're not saying they teleport like or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that out part later. Right now, we have to tell the others. You're right. So then. Then shall we go? <sighs> Hina, Hina, step out of it. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. S sorry, I that's how I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of... Hmm. This is a problem. Can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay then, I'll go with everyone. You stay there with Hina. Neat. Very well, I'll leave to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I guess I'm confident in that beat, but... Don't stop tripling from what I just had been through. Uh, Everyone's always on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone's chasing after this special individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? 
was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I, I saw him. The strange cutting man. Right off as soon as I scream. I blocked the stairs so he had to flee down the hallway and disappeared. He went off going flew down the hallway. Are you back to the hallway? physics room. I'm guessing. Me? If that's the way here, it's like what kind of presence. I'm striking still someone's presence. It's presence. Come over there in the black. Anybody hiding on anybody hiding here through here? Nope, nobody's hiding. Let's the doorway. When I did, I found another nightmare. It's like a nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. So it's black again. There in the pool of his own blood was Taka. Dead. And with that, I think we'll call it a day. Two dead bodies. In one chapter. What will happen next? I don't know. But we'll find out next time. On Dagnaropa Trigger Heavy Havoc. If you like what you, we do here, how about some, how about a little like? And a comment. Hit that subscribe button. And that bell. Every time you spare money, a little, a little Patreon support or Amazon whistle list is waiting for you. A little click. In the meantime, never stop learning. Enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye.